Today we will learn about different kings in the natural world. The king of the dinosaurs, the T-Rex. He had small hands, but that was not a disadvantage. He would need sweaters for all the other dinosaurs. A well-trained T-Rex knows how to sit, land a hand, and roll over. He has a very good sense of smell, and without even looking, knows when the pizza is ready in the oven. Pizza in the oven, pizza in the oven. Interesting, that reminds me that I forgot something, I wonder what it was. <laughs> ah! The pizza in the oven, I forgot! The king of the jungle, the lion. Every four years, there are elections for the presidency of the jungle. And every election, the lion wins all the votes without cheating at all. Throughout history, the lion tried different haircuts and finally chose a wild man. The Lion King has an uncle named Scar who stole control of the kingdom in an evil scheme. But with the help of cool songs, he manages to grow up and return to the throne. That sounds familiar to me. Did you copy it from somewhere? The King of Lizards, the Commodore Dragon. Don't mess with the Commodore Dragon. It has a venomous bite. Not pleasant at all. While sleeping, the Commodore Dragon kicks its legs like a dog. It sleeps soundly and dreams of flying over the ocean while spitting fire. Commodore Dragon babies hatch from an egg. When they grow, they lay eggs that will also grow into Commodore Dragons that will lay eggs and so on and so on and so on. If you ask what came first, the Commodore Dragon or the egg, then I guarantee, without any doubt, 179%, the answer is the egg came first. This is biology for the beginners. Are you sure about this fact? I think you got this one wrong. An adult Commodore Dragon laid the first egg. So the adult Commodore Dragon was there before the first egg. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.